My family's crazy. I've got three boys, they are full on, they are on the go all the time, but my family is amazing and I'm lucky to have them. Trent was born in 2013. He's an odyssey, we just don't understand why he is like he is. Normal pregnancy, normal birth, there was no indication that there was anything wrong. He started missing milestones, he was screaming a lot when he was young, so we started having sort of mini diagnosis. He was originally diagnosed with cerebral palsy. He was diagnosed autistic at two and a half. We were told it was periventricular leukomalacia, which is a brain damage, but that was eventually discarded as well. And the epilepsy is quite a recent thing. Watching your child being poked and prodded continuously is really hard, no matter how many times you've been through it. It's not an easy thing to go through. We don't have the sort of street map to know where we can get help or what we could be doing for Trent. So not knowing why he is like he is, is is frustrating, it's scary, and also just for the future to know how he's gonna be as he gets older, and also will that affect his brothers in terms of when they have children. We were told at one stage that's pretty much it at the moment, and then our neurologist referred us to the 100,000 Genome Project, basically as a last resort. They were researching and, and looking into the, ge the genetics of each child to find out what was wrong, if there was something missing, if there was something extra. We were really excited and hopeful that there was something else that we could look at and something that was at the forefront of genetic testing. So far, um, we've had a negative result from the 100,000 genome. His condition is so rare that they don't know about that particular gene yet. As a family, we were obviously devastated that we didn't get a result, but we definitely remain positive. We've learned that they, they do associated panels looking at specific genes based on the child. So, for example, Trent, they looked at a learning disability panel, and at the moment they haven't been able to find anything, but that's not to say as they're learning more and going forward that they won't find anything. When a parent gets a result, no matter how insignificant, how small, how big, whatever it may be, it's, it's literally life-changing. For doctors and clinicians, I think they're doing all this amazing work and even though they might be hitting a brick wall with a lot of negative results, still keep going forward because we're on this side waiting for all that, those answers.